Know ye that the Lord, he is God. Yeah. It is he that has made us and not we ourselves. Yeah. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Yeah. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving yes, and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting and his truth endureth to all generations. Yes. Rest in your hearing the entire hundred sons. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading and hearing of his word. Amen. Amen. Turn on most gracious heavenly father. We are just so grateful for another opportunity to lift our voices to you father. When we come to you father we always come to you first and foremost thanking you father. We thank you for all that you've been. We thank you for all that you've done. We thank you for all of the days and all of the ways that you've been with us and how you've been faithful to us, Father. You've been better to us than we've been to ourselves, Father. We just can never thank you enough, Father. But we still stand in need of a blessing, Father. Father, as we prepare to exit one year and enter into a new one, Father. Father, we come into this year leaning on you, Lord, Father. We Look to the hills from whence cometh our help, because we know that all our help comes from the Lord, Father. So we're looking to you, Father. We're leaning on you, and we're depending on you, Father. So right now, I beseech you by the mercies of Jesus that you would just continue to lead us and to guide us and to direct us, and that you would be a hedge of protection around us, Father, and that you would continue to bless the angel of this house and all of the illustrious men of God that are gathered here today, and all of the first ladies and the members of this congregation that are fellowshipping here tonight on this watch night, Father. We just are so grateful that you brought us here safely, Father, and we're looking and depending on you to get us home safely, Father. So we just continue to thank you, Lord. Continue to bless us, Lord. So all these blessings we ask in the mighty and immaculate name of your Son, Jesus, who is the Christ. Amen. Walk with me, Lord. Walk with me. Walk with me, Lord. Walk with me.
Praise God. Praise God. Certainly, certainly we give all praise unto the Lord our God because he is certainly good to us. And, and we do want to uh, thank God for all these pastors and thank God for the associate ministers who got us uh, our devotion this evening. Thank them for that willingness because we all understand how important it is just to serve. Yes. Amen. And so God has certainly blessed us and he has certainly equipped us to be servants that should be humble and willing uh, to go forth in his name. Amen. And so we're happy to be here tonight, this 31st day of December, uh, day 365 of 2023. <laughs> I don't, know, I don't want to go back 20 years, do I? I'm going to say that. <laughs> but we thank God, yes. I mean, yes, but we thank him tonight for you that have come out. Uh, we were just talking in the back that, uh, you know, we try to get ourselves back into the swing, as they say, of coming together on this particular night. Because I think many of us know that 2020 uh, kind of wiped us out and we had to put things uh, on hold or had to put it in a time of going back to it. And so, so the Lord is blessing us where we have found ourselves now ready to continue to come together. Amen. And, and I want to commend these that have come out tonight. Uh, we do greet those who may be viewing us on Facebook Live uh, because we pray that that was not the thing that kept some. <laughs> We're coming out tonight. Amen. Amen. I think we will spoil some saints. Amen. By letting some things be too convenient. Amen. But, but we need to make that sacrifice to still gather together. Amen. But I do want to thank uh, Pastor Sam Williams, Jr., who is here. Uh, also, Pastor David Edwards. Amen. Pastor uh, Plummer Macklin. Pastor Marquise Washington, Amen. and I should say where they pastor at, right? Amen. <laughs> Amen. Pastor Marquise Washington is, is the new pastor um, of Lee Mount Island. Yeah. And so some of them are in here tonight. Thank Amen. God for you, yeah. Mount Island. We want to thank the Lord for you tonight. Uh, pastor Macklin is pastor of Miller First Baptist. Yeah. And we thank God. Because uh, he presently is my pastor, so I thank him for coming out tonight. Uh, and then Pastor David Edwards, Edwards, he is the pastor of Mount Horan, Michigan Baptist Church. Uh, uh, pastor Sam Williams Jr. is a retired pastor. Amen. 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 And so, so he is the former pastor of Grace Missionary Baptist Church. And, and so our associates, uh, if you don't know them, Reverend Andre Adams is social minister here at Pilgrim Rest. Reverend Lowe is at Mount Horeb. Amen. 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 All right. See, his pastor's giving them some love, y'all. Y'all took those. <laughs> and, and then Reverend Berry, I thank God for you from Amen. New Mount Island. Amen. 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 So, so I, I just want us to get familiar with some of these preachers, these pastors, because we are all are one big family. Yeah, yeah. We are all of the household of faith. Yeah, yeah. And so, so we want to uh, thank God for you this evening. We want to do something uh, that I know uh, is kind of customary that we do at these type of meetings, this watch service, if you want to call it that. Uh, we allow some just to have their time to praise or give testimony. Because yeah. uh, we even got to get back to doing that too, yeah. brothers and sisters. Right. Somebody need to be able to tell us about how good God's been to them. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, yeah. and listen, testimonies are encouragement to other saints. Yeah. It, it just let us know that God is working in his children's lives. Yeah. And so, so at this time, if there's anyone that would like to come, uh, you may come now in your own way. We will uh, introduce our preacher and our friend uh, soon. Amen. Amen. I, I'm holding off. Amen. Let y'all know who he is right now. 
All right, but, but at this time, uh, if there's anyone that would like to uh, give a testimony, as they say, I believe I testify yes, Lord. while yes, I have Lord. this time. Because yes, I may not have it, as they yes, say, Lord. anymore. Yes, yes. All right, so God bless you. Amen. Amen. All right. All right. Amen. Go ahead.
continue to trust God for whatever he has for me in 24.
praise God. We thank the Lord for these uh, that have come tonight. Thank you for everything that you said and shared. Uh, we certainly thank God that there's proof that he's been active in your lives. And I think all of us who may have, as they say, refrain from saying anything, we can agree with you that he's been good to us. And, you know, sometimes, this is sometimes our presence can speak more uh, than our words at times. And so we are grateful to God uh, for what we have heard and how he has blessed uh, these that have been sick. I thank uh, Sister Joanne Williams for sharing because she has certainly been sick, uh, almost unto death. But God certainly turned that around, didn't he? And she's still here to let us know that he's that been that good, even with the family members that are gone. So we thank the Lord for her sharing that. And there, Reverend Andre Adams, uh, for sharing because we know uh, me and Kim and, and our sister Danita, how close he may have been. Uh, but he said, but God. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. But God, he is the one that kept him. And so we praise the Lord uh, for these that have shared. Uh, at this point, um, let me see how many choir members we have here that may want to come together. All right, how many How many we got here? Because I know how to start picking some to sing a solo. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not talking about solo. <laughs> but uh, all right, if we have a few uh, that want to come, uh, we're going to invite you. Uh, to Yes, that's what we want to do is combine uh, those voices that are here. Because uh, uh, Reverend, um, our, our preacher, amen, Kendall Washington said he'll pray, pray uh, for you. <laughs> he'll, he'll play. All right, so, so come on, those that have these voices, come on. We're not concerned with no numbers. But if you know you can sing, come on and give us a selection uh, or two. Yeah, so so let so as they get ready, uh, we do want to get ready to hear from these voices tonight. Thank God uh, that we have this mixture of New Mount Olive, uh, Pilgrimess. Uh, we want to thank them for coming together, uh, willing to sing. See, I got another one that's coming in right now. Tell us you can come on up. <laughs> you can come on up. You got here just in time. So we get them time uh, to... Uh, get together there, figure out what they're going to sing here uh, in a moment. But I do want to thank uh, Pastor Kendall Washington. So he's, he's gifted. Yes, he is. He can, he can uh, play, sing, preach, teach. Yes, and so, so thank God. Yes. Uh, for our preacher, he's not, as they say, just too focused on his preaching right now, but he want to also be a help. <laughs> All right. Amen. All right, so at this time, we're going to go ahead and let uh, our, our combined choir come. We're going to let them come with a selection. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
to be here because uh, it was not just by accident. Yeah. Amen. But it was 
it's certainly something God will to happen. And so, so at this time, I would like to uh, present to some, introduce to others, the Reverend Kendall Washington, yes. who is the pastor of the Revelation Baptist Church in Mount Healthy, Ohio. Amen. And, and Amen. certainly, let's pray Amen. for him tonight. Amen. Let's pray that the Lord will give him a word yes. that will give us hope. Yes. It will encourage us. It will give us, as they say, more of an outlook towards the new, the new year yeah. or whatever the Lord has in store for us as his people. Yeah. That it would just stir us up to keep on being servants yeah. for the most high God. Yeah. And so so pray for him uh, as he will soon come. They're going to give us another selection. And after that selection, the next voice you'll be hearing will be that of Pastor Kendall Washington. Yeah. Amen. Amen.
tell somebody he is wonderful. Yeah. 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 On the other side, and tell somebody he is wonderful. Yeah. He's a wonderful God. Yeah. And the reason we can say he's wonderful is not because of what we heard, but because of what we know. Tell somebody, I know it for myself. He is. He is. He is. He is. He's a present wonderful. He ain't a was wonderful. He's a right now wonderful. Amen. We thank God for all that he has done for us tonight. We're grateful to the Lord for being here tonight. Um, I've been trying to play the organ for about 50 years now. I, I will never be in any service and let the service die because ain't nobody to play. I told the Lord, if you give me the gift, every time I get a chance to use it, I will. Tonight is no different when I'm at my church. I do it every Sunday in my church. Because I, I can't find no musicians that want to stay the whole service. <laughs> I, I hear one guy tell me, well, if you move your service to 1130, I, I said, move it for you? <laughs> I said, okay, I get it. I'll move my service for you till you get ready to leave. And I got to explain to my people while I move the service for you. And now you go. <laughs> but, uh, you know, people say, man, I, I would love to have the gift to play. I said, well, the Bible says to whom much is given, how much is required. So, we don't have a musician at the church, so I got to do double duty. And uh, it's, it's great to want the gift till you got to use it till you get tired. But I thank God. This is, it's a great night to be alive. Did y'all hear me? It's a great night to be alive. I couldn't announce I was coming. I saw the flyer, but I couldn't put it on my page. Because <laughs> my, my, my church wouldn't have understood. <laughs> Pastor, we have a watch night? No! <laughs> no! Um, well, Pastor, why would I have a watch night? Well, you know, y'all will be here Sunday morning, and then y'all got to come back tonight. But, Pastor, we want to. No. So, uh, don't, don't y'all tell nobody. <laughs> to, to, to Pastor Adams and to, to, to Pastor Macklin, to Pastor Washington for coming together tonight, the rest of the pastors that are here, and to uh, the First Ladies tonight. Lady Kim, I love you. Amen. I love you. That's my sister for real. <clears throat> I came to uh, Gary from the simultaneous to preach one year. And uh, I, I had straight laryngitis. I mean, straight, my voice was gone. And uh, after that Sunday night, that Monday morning, I was approached by Pastor Adams and Lady Kim. And she had a care bag for me. And she said, listen, we Washington and to his, his his bride, his queen. God bless you, my my namesake. Amen. Yeah, yeah, that's my namesake. And uh, we we shared in revival together. And um, I thank God for him and to all the other first lady, first lady Williams. God bless you, woman of God. And to uh, any other first ladies out there, I'm missing. I'm up with us. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's hard enough putting up with ourselves. Yeah, yeah. Thank God for 
my wife. Yeah. 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 We just celebrated 32 years last yeah. week. something funny during the testimonies that um, I often like to point out the funny stuff, you know. But uh, Pastor Williams was testifying about living out in what, Colorado? Oklahoma. Oklahoma. And uh, he said he couldn't find a wife <laughs> in Oklahoma. either Chicago or Atlanta. <clears throat> so he came to Chicago and his aunt that raised him introduced him to a wife. Yeah. Now that's a great love story. Yeah. However, yeah. <laughs> it was something funny that was said in between there that nobody caught but me. He said in order for him to get to Chicago to find a wife, God had to bankrupt a bank. <laughs> Maybe y'all missed it. <laughs> but God put some people out of work <laughs> to find him a wife. close as we are to a new year, some of us might not make it. Somebody is crying over a loved one that didn't make it today. But God, we're thankful that you let us get here. Now as we go into your word, I ask that you help me to rightly divide the word of truth. Somebody may be encouraged tonight. Bread of heaven, feed us. Bible, 2 Corinthians chapter number 4. Uh, you have your Bibles. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, starting with verse number 3 and uh, concluding with verse number 9. Thank God for all of y'all that's here tonight. Amen, amen. 2 Corinthians chapter number 4, commencing with verse 3. Scripture says, but if our gospel, that he be hid, it is hid to them <clears throat> that are lost, in whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. For we preach not ourselves, but Christ Jesus the Lord, and ourselves your servants for Jesus' sake. For God, who commanded the light to shine out of darkness, has shined in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. Excellency of the power may be of God and not of us. We are troubled on every 
his side, yet not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Cast down, but not destroyed. I want to talk about what I've decided to call tonight. I had to go through this. You know, it's amazing to me, and I shared with the church this morning that I don't know what it is about the click of 1159 and 59 seconds to midnight that makes us try to encourage ourselves from one second to another separates one year to the next. Us till the resolutions. I mean, resolutions. Well, it's, it's it's something about that one second, yeah. Pastor Williams, that uh, makes us think that it gives us real motivation to want to do better. Well, <clears throat> I think all of us have a place in our personal lives where we can find a way find some kind of thing in our lives that makes us want to do better. Mm -hmm. um, it, but it's something about that click on the clock that tells us as soon as next year get here, I'm gonna. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <clears throat> and the truth is, many have been saying I'm gonna since September. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> next year, I'm gonna lose weight and get back in these clothes. I think it's something about being challenged in life <coughs> that tries to make us convince ourselves that a different time ought to show us different results. Yeah. Well. When the truth is, all we have is right now. Yeah. <coughs> now, uh, many of us have come through a lot over the years is the enemy's job to convince us that God is not interested in our situations. As a matter of fact, it's his job, and he's always on his job yes, to convince yes. us that we are not going to get better. Yes, yeah. yes. <clears throat> That's right. But the truth is, our obstacles that we face every day has not been designed to take us out, mm -hmm. right. but it's been designed to help us to expand our faith. Yes. Right. Amen. Situations should, should not cause us to run from them. Right. We should actually run to them. Yes. Uh, many people stop coming to church. I heard pastors say, you know, 2020 took us out. Well, I, I agree with that to one point until I went to Walmart. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> People that used to go to church ain't stopped going. And I hear people uh, all the time, well, you know, it, it just ain't safe in these streets, but, but, but you're still shopping, right, you're still right. going out to eat. Yeah. You, you, COVID ain't no excuse no more. No. <laughs> you, know, you know, because if, if it was really the truth, uh, during COVID, we were still going. Yes, sir. When they make you line up outside and come in 10 at a time, we was... Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, we're, we're my real church, and I'll get, I'll get to the lesson. COVID ain't stopped Black Friday. Yeah. Yeah. You're still waiting in line to get that TV yeah. in. Yeah. You know, so the devil has a real way of convincing us that everything else is more important than God. And, and so the, the devil's whole job is to get us. I'm going to be there in a few minutes. Don't y'all worry. Uh, but, but 
the devil's whole job is to convince us that God's way is not the best way, but the world's way is. Yeah, yeah, I ran yeah. into a lady the other day and said, well, you know, I just don't trust preachers no more. Well, I said, huh? She said, no, it's just, you know, I just don't trust preachers. I don't go to church because all they want is your money. I said, well, that's all Walmart wants. Yeah. <laughs> try, try picking up a stick of gum and walking out with it. <laughs> no, it ain't got to be on TV. Pick up a stick of gum, get you some Tic Tacs. And try not paying for them. You're going to find out all they want. I don't care how they drop the prices. You're going to pay the price they drop. <laughs> you know, uh, you know, but nobody ever realized that all the doctor wants is your money. They come in into your hospital room and say, how you doing? Okay, see you later. 300 <laughs> Just for a stop by. They, they ain't gave you no pill. They ain't gave, when am I going home? I'll be back tomorrow. Three more hundred. You know, but, but it's always a way to try to make you figure that the church is not for you but right. against you. Yeah. I put something up on Facebook the other day, as a matter of fact, it was yesterday, that said, church hurt, uh, people always talk about they are church hurt, yes. and they always uh, uh, belittles the church help. Oh. Well. You church hurt when you, when, you, when you leave, but you don't talk about the help they gave you while you were there. I ain't just talking about the word. I'm talking about the rent, the electric bill, yeah. the groceries. Yeah. 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 But it's, it's always a way yeah. to find your way to be uh, different or yeah. indifferent with the church. But let me let me show you what this says, and that's so I can so we can be rejoicing uh, by midnight. I'll be done for the end. But let's let's see what it says. It says, "But if our gospel yeah. yes, be hid, yeah. 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 Huh? but if our gospel be hid, yeah. it is hid to them that." Are lost. Let me first, uh, Pastor Macklin, uh, preach it better than me. Let me let me first of all say it that the the gospel is never designed to be hidden from you. Christ can never be seen, but he can always be revealed. There's a word called theophany, which means Christ is seen. Uh, in the text, and he yeah. says, "But if our gospel is hidden from us, it ain't because God is trying to hide it. Right. It is right. it's hid to them that are lost." Yeah. Uh, revelation. People talk about I. I don't understand Revelation. No, it ain't that you don't understand Revelation. You don't believe Revelation. This is all liars, especially liars. When they say all liars will have their place in the lake of fire. You know. <laughs> Let me tell you, if you don't get your life right, you're going to hell. People, I don't understand. No, you understand what it's saying. You just, you just don't believe what it's saying. You know? uh, but if it says, if our gospel is hid, it's hid to them that are lost. In whom the God of this world has blinded the minds of them which believe not. Uh, and I had to stop there. I said, because, Lord, I know how my eyes can be blind. But how can my mind be blind? And it came out. Jesus says, the way your mind is blinded is through unbelief. Yeah, yeah. You see, if the devil can convince you not to believe God, yeah. he'll keep you in a defeated state. Right. 25 years of being sick, two bouts with cancer. Yeah. If you had stopped believing, I can't wow. believe yeah. if, if you had stopped believing yeah. God, yeah. You may not have made it as far as you did, but it was something about God that told you, keep believing me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see, the peace of God only comes with your focus. Yeah. Let, me, let me say it again. If you want the real peace of God, it only comes with a perfected focus. Right. Well, prove it to me, preacher. Thou will keep him yeah. in perfect peace whose mind is perfectly focused. So my peace doesn't come with the situation. My peace comes with my focus. Oh yeah, the, 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 the situation may have you uneasy, but the focus that you have on God will help you go through things and get you through things that you never thought you'd come through. Oh my God, oh my God. So he says my focus is what keeps me uh, uh, blinded when I when I'm not focused on God, he said because he says uh, he said blind the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God. Yeah. God says when I look at you, no matter what you go through, I'm looking for me. Yeah. Oh my God! 
answers. Let me bring, let me bring it down just a little bit. Y'all do it, better not do it. You know, uh, when, when the goldsmith is trying to perfect gold, there is a process to that. When he heats up the gold, he scrapes off the impurities off the top. But he knows that one scraping is not enough. Because impurities got a way of hiding so he heats up the fire even more. I'm going to yeah. go a little, little deeper than that. You know, I'm a big fella. I'm not no small fella. You know, I'm not. I mean, I'm, I'm fat and fine. Excuse me. If you don't, if you don't, if you don't see it, I know it. You know, uh, but, 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 I, I, but, but I can't take a two-minute shower. No, no, no. Some of y'all can't either. I, I can't. Come on, Matt. I, I can't take a two-minute shower. Because when I get in the shower, I don't care if I wipe circums. Uh, I got too many places that dirt can hide. Oh, don't y'all look at me like this. So, so when I get in the water and I lather up, I got to lift some stuff. Well, 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 in order for me to just cut myself clean, I, I got to be in there a few minutes. And, you know, and, and, and being a big guy, if I get out of the shower and I'm not out of breath, I'd have missed some spots. You know, come on, talk to me a minute. You know, so, so impurities got a way of hiding. So he heats up the kettle the more. And the way he knows that the gold is purified is when he can look at the gold and not see the gold, but see his own reflection. And so when God is heating up the fire in your life, he's not trying to destroy you. He's trying to get out the impurities. So when he see you, he won't judge you, but he'll see a reflection of his So, so when, when the devil blinds your mind, yeah. uh, he, he wants to keep you in an impure state That's right. yeah. because he knows that God is pleased when he can see himself. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and, and, and it's really segue into, into verse number five for those of us that's really honest about the way we used to be and the way we're trying to be because verse five says, for we preach not ourselves. Right. Right. I don't take no credit for where I am right now. See, where, where I am is better than what I used to be. But I don't take no credit for being where I am now. Because the truth is, y'all ready for the truth? The truth is that uh, uh, the, the song the song I say, things I used to do, I, I don't do no more. Well, that's, that's, the, that's the testimony I have about some of the stuff. <laughs> <laughs> but, but the real testimony is some things I used to do, I don't do them as often. Uh, I, I, I touch your name and say, I ain't there yet. I ain't all the way there yet. So don't, don't let the shout fool you. I got some stuff still going. Uh, God, God, God saved my left hand, but he's still working on my right hand. Uh, you, know, uh, uh, you know, I ain't no cusser no more, but don't push me. All of us got some stuff that God is still working on. Can I get somebody to talk to me? Everybody plays the fool. Sometimes, and some of us more often than others. And there's no exception to the rule. Listen, oh, I thought I was someplace else. I don't, I don't preach myself. I'm telling you right now, I don't. People, I had a young man tell me one time, he said, Pastor, I, I want your anointing, man. I want to preach like you. I want to play like you. I said, be careful because everything you see costs. Yes, yeah. Y'all miss what I just said. Yeah. Every, everything you see with me, you see, you see, salvation don't cost you nothing. But the anointing can cost you everything. Oh, yeah, that's some stuff you got to give up. When you want certain things from God. Yes. Yes. So I don't take no credit for what God has done for me because I know what it costs me. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. You got to be evicted a few times since you've been saved. Yeah. Well, come, on. <laughs> come on, come on. You got to have gotten sick and then God healed you yes. since you've been saved. Come on. 
you got to lose a couple jobs and lose relationships yeah. Yeah. since you've been saved. Yeah. Yeah. To, to know that God is qualifying you yeah. to see, will you still do it when you ain't got nothing left? Yeah. Yeah. But I need to find 10 people that agree with this. Bishop Larry try to say it like this. If I lose everything yeah. and I still have Jesus, yeah. I got enough yeah. to start all yeah. over again. Yeah. Look at somebody tell them, start over, start over. Tell you, come on, tell your neighbor, start over. You know, you know Whatever you got to do, you got to know that your life is going to be victorious yeah. when you decide to let God do what he does best. Yeah. Verse 6 says this. I got, I got 13 good looks. Verse 6 says this. For oh God, who commanded the light to shine out of darkness, has shined in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. He called us darkness, and he called his Holy Ghost light. Say it again. He called us darkness. Yeah. Yes, he said, I made the darkness, I made the light to shine out of darkness. Yeah. Now, if I give y'all one line, I need about, about five or six praises that will open, it, open up your mouth because you're grateful uh, for about 10 seconds. And, and if you catch it real quick, only if you catch it, for God who commanded the light to shine out of darkness yeah. has shined in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glorious God, glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. What it just said to me was this. I don't have to look like what I go through. Yeah. 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 I said, I don't tell you later, I don't have I don't look like what, what, I, what I've been through. I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't look like it. I don't look I, just because I'm broke, I ain't gotta look like it. Just because I'm sick, I ain't gotta look like it. Just because I'm going through, I ain't gotta look like it. I can be the brokest thing in here, but I can look rich. Come on, black folk are experts at looking like a million dollars and they ain't got to die. Because we make going through look good. We'll spend our last money at the hairdresser. Say, girl, I'll tip you next week. Come on, talk to me, somebody. We, we, we'll spend our last money in the barbershop getting a car washed and they got no gas left. But we, we, make look, we make going through look good. We are, We'll, we'll, we'll go to the, to, 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 to uh, uh, what's, that, what's that store you all go through, dress for less? What, what is that? Come on, talk. We'll go to Ross and spend $13 in there and put a scarf with it. And... Come on, talk to me. Because we know how to make looking good look good. I don't care what we're going through. I'm telling you, they, they gave us the worst parts of the pig. But we showed them it's a delicacy. Now they want it. We know how to make going through look good. Some of y'all broke right now. But you look good. Look at the neighbor and say, neighbor, I made up my mind. I'm just going to fake it till I make it. I'm going to look like a million dollars even when I'm broke. So when I get my million dollars, you never know I got. Yeah, my shoes are old, but I keep them shot. We, we, we know how to make bad situations look good. And that's what the devil hates. He said, God commanded this light to shine out of darkness. He said, make darkness look good. Make it look like you don't have no sense. Walk upright and watch what I'll do for you. Oh, my God. <laughs> And segue into verse number seven. But we have this treasure. Yes, sir. Come on. Come on. But. Yes. That's what he said. But. but. Conjunction, junction. Yes. What shall function? Yes. Hooking up yes. words, yes. phrases, and thank God, schoolhouse rock, phrases and clauses. Yes. Yes. Tell your neighbor, live on the right side of the butt. Yes. I don't care what the left side said, but when you got to butt, that means things are about to turn around. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Tell your neighbor things are about to turn around. Yeah. He said, but we have this treasure yeah. Yeah. in earthen vessels. 
that the excellency may be of the power of God and not of us. Yeah. Pastor Williams, uh, my daddy came home one day and he, he said, Kendall! I, I just knew he had found out something I did. You know? <laughs> he just waited to call my name and I came in, yes sir? And he had a box. Like he ain't big. He took the box and, and he spent about 30 minutes blowing up. <laughs> and, and this clown face emerged. And when he got it blown up, he said, hit it. And I hit it. And it went down to the right back up. Came back up. <laughs> Still smiling at me. I, I, I developed a real hatred <laughs> for that clown, you know. <laughs> so much so that my, 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 my grandson had one with Spider-Man face on it. Uh, and when he hit it, it went down to the same thing. I said, he must be cousin to that clown. <laughs> Because no matter what I did, yeah, yeah, right it come right back. I hit it hard, so hard one time, it laid there for like three seconds, but then it still came back. <laughs> Smiling. And I must have thought about it one night. I got up the next morning, I hit it so hard, and I dived on top of it. I sat on it. And I beat it till I got tired. And as soon as I got up, I'm going to come in from the back side of it and see if I can find six people to help me close this sermon. Some of y'all are just like that clown. No matter what has happened to you up until now, beat up, knocked down, but you keep coming back. And that's what the devil don't like about you is the fact that you got comeback in you. And I finally realized where I was hitting it is not where his strength was. Because it, where I hit it may have made it go down, but it was something on the inside of it yeah. that made it keep coming back. Yeah. And the devil is not pleased with the fact that you keep bouncing back. Yeah. Ooh, I wish you look at the neighbor and say, you got some comeback in you. Yeah, it, it, ain't, it ain't time to give up yet. Uh, the fact that I know that is millions this year didn't make it. Yeah. Wildfire, yeah. flood, yeah. earthquake, yeah. tornadoes. Yeah. Millions didn't make it. Yeah. But we're one of the ones yeah. that did. Look at somebody say, neighbor, you made it yeah. and don't even know how. Yeah. The songwriter says, you, you. made a way. Yeah. Yeah. When our backs was against the wall and it Look as if it was over. You made a way, and I'm standing, standing here, cause you made a way. You moved mountain, cause walls to fall. With all power, perform miracles. There is nothing that's too hard for God. I'm standing here only because you made a way. And that's why I can shout tonight. On, yes, I can play the organ, but I don't need it. Yeah. I can shout tonight because I recognize yeah. that if it had not been for the Lord yeah. who was on my side, yeah. I don't know where I'd be right now. Because yeah. I recognize there were situations that I was in that I did not know how I was going to come out of it. But I thank God when I put my trust in him. He made things come out all right. And I need to find somebody tonight that don't mind testifying with me. That name, tell your neighbor, say neighbor, can I give you my testimony? Say, neighbor, my testimony is I've been troubled on every side. Yet not distressed. I've been perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not forsaken. I've been cast down, 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 but not destroyed. Look at somebody and say, neighbor, the reason I'm still here it's because there were times I trusted God yeah. to get me out of my mess. Yeah. 
and half the mess that I've been in was caused by myself. But God still made a way. And I want to know, is there anybody here tonight that can shout because 2023 brought some tears, pain, and anguish. But in the midst of it all, God still brought me through. In the midst of it all, God, 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 God gave me another chance to praise his name. When I didn't have the money, my praise brought me out of it. When I didn't have the health, I kept on lifting my hands, saying to God, be the glory for the things that he has done. I want to know, is there anybody here that let God brought you through some hell and some high water? You don't know how he did it. You don't know why he did it. But all you know is that when you looked up, a text message changed your life an email changed your life one phone call changed your life so I'm thanking God tonight that I've been through the storms and I've been through some rain but the rain didn't take me out because God gave me one more chance to make things right he told me that he came that I might have life and have that life more abundantly and I want to give you my favorite scripture in the Bible it says God is not a man that he should lie Numbers 23 19 says neither the son of man that he should repent but if he said it he'll bring it to pass and if he spoke it he'll make his word good but Pastor Adams I fooled around and read verse 20 verse 20 says I have commanded the blessing to be on your life and nothing can reverse it I want to tell somebody if God made you a promise that hasn't come to pass yet you got to keep on believing that God is going to still do it always put a yet in front of your praise are you married no I'm not married yet do you have the house I don't have the house yet did you get the job I didn't get the job yet. Are you healed? I'm not healed yet. Are you a millionaire? Not yet. But I just believe that God won't lie to me. I heard, I heard, I heard Job say, I got two more good minutes. I heard Job say, though he slay me, yet will I trust in him. But we leave the B portion out. He said, I'm going to maintain my own ways before him. Which means while I'm going through, I'm going to put a hallelujah in my mouth. While I'm broke, I'm going to put a thank you Jesus. If it ain't but a Big Mac, or if it's just a snack, my pastor said it like this. Whatever you get full off of, if it's a snack, or Roman noodles fool is fool tell your neighbor God has always provided for me Jehovah Jireh God will he'll always provide is there anybody here that know God is getting ready to turn it all around for you it didn't come in 23 but I'm just convinced that if I praise him this year, things that didn't happen before is going to happen right now. Tell a neighbor, tell them, God, get ready to turn it around. Take a neighbor by the hand and look at him in 
the face and say, neighbor, I got three words for you right now. Tell your first neighbor, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers them out of them all. Go find another neighbor and look at him in the face and say, neighbor, I got another word just for you. Say, neighbor, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod, thy rod, thy rod, and thy staff, they comfort me. Let that neighbor's hand go and find somebody that looks a little excited and say, neighbor, I got a word for you on tonight. Say, neighbor, I don't care how many tears that you shed. Weeping man. Weeping man. Endure for a night. But y'all. seconds of pooping and I'm, I'm done tonight but I need you to find a real neighbor that don't mind holding your hand and say neighbor I need come on tell somebody I need a favor tonight say neighbor if you see the devil this week let him know for me that everything he tried on me didn't work. Tell your neighbor, do me a favor. If you see the devil this week, tell him for me, he made it for evil. But God turned it around. Come on, tell somebody. God turned it around. Why y'all not turning? God turned it around. And every time I turn around, he keeps Preaches yeah, yeah, yeah. right now from rumors or sickness and yeah. Yeah. everything. I'm, this week I'm going to choose a day. I'm going to go online and I'm going to pray for preachers. Hallelujah. Because Amen. attack on one of us is attack on all of us. That's right. Amen. Amen. That's right. Oh, don't, don't, don't think that rumor can't kill you. Yeah. Yeah. All of us are one rumor away yes, sir. from saying we got the best pastor. Yeah. So I always knew he was a crook. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we're, we're one fuck away. One. Just one mistake. Yeah. Yeah. Right. You can do 3,000 things good. Yeah. But the one misstep yeah. will cause people to say, well, you know, I liked him in the first place, but I never knew that was anything. Yeah. Like, like being chosen mean we're not imperfect. Right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. But I thank God. Because this year that we, that's approaching us, we got about eight minutes, nine minutes. This year that's approaching us is literally at a place where we got to believe God more now than ever. Yeah. I thank God the gas prices are down. I, I, I filled my car the other day, it was $44. And it was empty. I said, thank you, Jesus. But I remember when it was 81. Yeah. Yeah. And I hear people say, Gas get to be five dollars. I ain't driving. You lying? <laughs> <laughs> it 
it may keep you going, keep you from going needless places. But when I gotta go someplace, I'm getting in my car and starting up. Huh? You know, I done got so food so hot now. I told my church and they laughed at me, but one lady said, Pastor, I just tried it. Whatever I want, I just put in the basket and just say, if I get up there and ain't got no money, put this back, put this back. <laughs> but, but I Lady Kim, I, I don't buy the bar S hot dog. My baloney has a first name. <laughs> Oscar Mayer got away. Yeah. Thick cut, B O L O. People say prices are higher, but God got money. Yeah. Let me tell you something. This is revelation for nine people. If gas gets me five dollars a gallon again, that just means God got to give you more money. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. So my trust this year lies in my Savior. Yeah. Yes. That has made us promises. Yes. And I'm going to tell you, ever since I decided yes. to just put what I want in the basket, there's yes. never been a time yes. that I've gotten to the cash register. One, one day, and, and this one day, I, I had on my cash app card, it took every penny, because what was on my cash app card was with the mountain grocery. Uh -huh. And yeah. I looked back and I said, I said, how much you is? She said, I said, swipe it. Because I know what God can do. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, can I tell somebody? Can I go yeah. old for a few minutes? It ain't no secret. Yeah. What God can do. Yeah. It, tell you, if he did it for me, yeah. he'll do it for you. Yeah. You made it through a, one of the worst seasons of your life. Yeah. This year, we survived yeah. death. Yeah. People dying in our family. Yeah. We, we yeah. helped people yeah. live forever. And they, that you survive uh, uh, being sick, yes, everything no. you survive, and yeah. it, it should tell you one thing: that there's nothing I can go through yeah. that God can't bring me through. If he survived Calvary, I can't get nobody told you. If he can survive Calvary, yeah. he told you greater works. Yeah. Now, yeah. now, what's worse than being crucified? <laughs> But he showed you, go ahead and do it, but there's a there's a comeback time. Oh, yeah. I can't believe I told you. There's a comeback time, and all of us through our situations got a comeback time. I had to go through this. I wouldn't know God the way I know him if I had him. Abraham went on that mountain to sacrifice Isaac. But if he had never obeyed God, he never would have came down with a word and said, Jehovah Jireh. He said, and, and it's called that to this day. Yeah. And if you miss that to this day, that means he, if he provided then, yeah. he's providing right now. Yeah. Everybody stand to your feet. Come on, everybody stand. Everybody stand to your feet. This is a moment that traditionally we praise God coming into yes. the new year. But, yes. but just before we do it, I want us to think about one thing, because it's only personal with you about what God has actually done for you. Yeah. I can praise God with you, yes. but I can't praise him for you. No, yeah, that's right, that's right. O only you know the real things that God brought you through that's this right. year. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Only you know. Yes. Only you know. Yes. Right. Through dark places, he brought you. Yes. Lonely, yes. he brought you. And lonely don't just mean you got people all around you. You can get a lonely place and surrounded by people. But he brought you yeah. to where you are. Lord, I may not live five hours into 2024, mm -hmm. but you won't beat me praising you yes, sir. for allowing me to yes, make it. Sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. I've, I've got to realize one thing, that God, uh, the songwriter James Cleveland, I believe was, said, I don't feel. No way he's tired. No way he's tired. Well, I don't know who you're talking about. I get tired. <laughs> But it is true that I've come too far. Yeah. Yeah. 
from where I started. There were no promises that this road would be easy. But I don't believe. Lady Williams, you said, I don't know why God left me here. Oh, it's for a reason. I don't believe he's brought me this far. There's some souls that still need to be saved. I, I don't have to have mega to know the souls that's attached to me. Every Sunday, y'all, y'all, every 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 morning from seven to seven thirty, I teach Monday through Friday, mm-hmm. three straight years, and I haven't missed a day. Yeah. Three years in one month, I haven't missed one day. Yeah. You know why? If you had told me that five years ago, I'd have called you crazy. Mm-hmm. But we started right in the middle of COVID, in the middle of November in COVID, and and it started off just as prayer, just to keep the church going. But even after we came back, the church said we can't stop now. So God feeds my mind every day to teach. I got to be on in the morning at 6 y'all time. Because my members threaten me. We don't care it's New Year's Day. We on. Christmas morning, we was on. Thanksgiving morning, we on. Because we understand that the time we give God and the time we spend with God is only made to to enlarge our places. I want y'all to to get with your neighbor. Hold a hand. Everybody, we got two minutes. Hold a hand. And let's let's make ready to go into this next level with God. I'm telling you, I, I got I got a scripture for everybody in here for 2024. I haven't seen. Yes, sir. Neither have ear heard. Yes, Lord. Neither has it entered to the heart of man. Good things. I know you have an expectation, but God says this is gonna be greater than your expectation. Did you hear what I said? God said it's gonna be greater than your expectation. It ain't time to give up yet. It ain't time to give in yet. It's not time to throw in the towel yet. It's time to tell God, God, I thank you for where you brought me from. I thank you for where I am. And I thank you for where you're going to take me. Because where you're taking me is unknown to me, but I have high expectation because it's going to be better. Yeah, yeah, where I'm going. It's going to be better. I got a scripture for 20 people that understand this spring. Your latter days shall be greater than your former. You got a change coming. And everything is going to be all right. Oh, yeah. Now, Brother Adams, he left you here for a reason. Yeah, your suffering is going to be a testimony to somebody that's going to let him know if he did it for me. He'll do the same thing for you. The Bible says, and they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the words of their testimonies. I want you to right now testify with your praise for the next 30 seconds and then declare 2024 here. Just start declaring with your praise. Come on, open your mouth and just start declaring the works of God with your praise. Start thanking him the way he put. Come on, start thanking him. Where he brought you from. Stop thanking him for the trials he brought you through. That's it. Come on, let's thank him for the ways that he made, the doors that he opened. Yeah, for morning by morning, he kept giving us new mercy. Come on, open up your mouth and tell God, thank you. You got about 15 more seconds, and then you can start helping people just for a minute. Come on, give God the best praise you got, the best, oh, the best hallelujah you got. Come on, act like your favorite team just won the Super Bowl. Act like your favorite team just won the World Series. Come on, give God a praise because you made it. Give God praise because you, come on. Now shout right now because 2024 is here. Come on and shout. God, the loudest hallelujah you got. She's coming. She's gonna find her who is 
somebody to follow suit. I go home. I'm telling you, we made it. We made it. Bless you, man. We made it. We made it. You tell somebody we made it. This is a hundred years for Pilgrim West. I am this I did my best. I did my best. see so many of them that came and certainly just wanted to be a part of the fellowship with us. God bless you brothers and, and even the deacon that was here as well. God bless you. Amen. We was looking around to see if we had any laymen. <laughs> but thank God we uh, certainly had one. But the Lord blessed us to have a wonderful time. Amen. 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 We can get ready to go home here shortly because I don't know if Pastor Washington got anything else he wants to say, amen. But uh, if not, I guess he had what? He done poured out and said it all, didn't he? <laughs> amen. 
Amen. Because all I want him now to do is go back to that hotel room and get him some rest. Amen. Amen. And so we thank the Lord for the traveling grace because they uh, just uh, were held up for a little moment there because of an accident on 65. But God didn't let it affect them. He, he cleared things up and they got moving again. And so we're glad that they made it here safely and were able to get to the hotel and check in. So, so God is good. And he is that all the time. Amen. So at this time, uh, I'm going to uh, get ready because I think one other announcement we wanted to make is on behalf of the Baptist Ministers Conference will be starting uh, the 12 night revival beginning this day. Uh, at 7 p.m., Pastor Roosevelt Dixon Sr. will be the first preacher January 1st at First Tabernacle. And so we will have, as they say, 12 others to follow. It's 12 nights, but we have two preachers on the Sunday night. And so we just ask that you pray for it. Uh, I know there's a lot has been said about it, and so we just wanted to make uh, this uh, announcement uh, concerning it. So, so God bless you. Uh, at this time now, I don't know if any other pastor, preacher have anything they want to say. All right, if not, I'm going to ask uh, Pastor Marquise Washington uh, to pray. Uh, pray us uh, out for this service. Amen, because I'm not going to bother our preacher because he done done. <laughs> More than enough. He done went over there and played. Uh, for our combined choir, which we want to thank them Sounds for. They, didn't they sound good? They sounded good. That's what I love about choirs and about choir members. They know how to just come together and sing. Yes. Amen. Yes. Even without rehearsals. Yes. So so we thank the Lord for that. So, so at this time, if there's no more, uh, I'm going to have uh, Pastor Marquise Washington come, and, and he will give us our benediction as well. Amen. Thank God we're at the close of our service. Uh, we're going to pray ourselves out. What's the simple song? It says, I need the oil. I, I need thee.
Thank you for this opportunity, God. God, before we ask you for anything, we want to thank you for everything. Thank you for the things that you've done. Thank you for the things that you're doing. And then, Lord, we thank you for the things our eyes haven't seen yet. Our ears haven't heard yet. We thank you for the future, God. Oh, God, in advance, we thank you, God. God, but we thank you. We ask, God, that you meet us right where we at, God. The same God that took care of us in 2023. God, we ask God for you to take care of us in 2024, God. Pour onto us, oh God, like never before, God. Some of us got some problems and got some issues that we have carried over, God. But now, Lord, we asking you to meet our every need, God. We know you as a problem solver, as a burden bearer, God. Somebody needs to feel your presence even in the midnight hours, God. Somebody needs to feel your anointing even in the midnight hour, God. Somebody needs you to meet them right where they are in their midnight situation, God. And I pray all in the sound of our voice, God, that you would do just that, God. You said in your word, whatever we bind on earth, you're binding in heaven. Whatever we loose on earth, you're loosing in heaven, God. So we binding up confusion right now. Binding up setback spirits, backbiting spirits, gossiping spirits, dividing spirits, distracting spirits. And we we're losing your love, we're losing your joy, we're losing your long suffering, we're losing your peace, we're losing your joy. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, God, somebody need it right now. Peace in their home, God, somebody need it right now. Peace on their job, God, somebody need it right now. Peace in their marriage, God, peace in the relationship, peace going in, peace going out, peace in the field and peace in the land, God. Lord, meet us right now, God. Oh, we pray, God, that we leave from this place, but never from your presence, God. You keep everything on the road, on the road. Everything off the road, off the road. Bless our homes, God. That they be more blessed than they were when we exit out of them on this evening, God. And then, Lord, we be ever so careful to give your name the glory. We be ever so careful to give your name the honor, God. We pray, God, that when it's yours to call and ours to answer, to make us a home on high. Find us a home on high, God. God, we find, we pray, God, if you find anything, God, take it out, oh God. Create us a clean heart and renew the right mind and spirit within us, God. Lord, we pray, God, dip us in your hyssop right now. God, dip us in your hyssop, God. Somebody need another dip, God. Somebody need another dip, God. And I pray, God, that you dip them right now. In the name of Jesus, God. Give your name the glory. Give your name the honor and the praise. Thanking you in advance. And if it is so, if you believe that it is so, say amen. 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 Consider yourselves. <laughs> 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 <laughs>